Today, I'll show you how to find the strongest UHF frequencies when using your DXTX transmitter. First, ensure your antennas are attached to the transmitter and receiver. The units will fail to pair without them. If you are unsure what antenna size to use, check out our antenna cutting guide after this video. For this tutorial, I will be using frequencies in the 500 range and the proper antenna length for it. On the D2RX receiver, enter the frequency menu and then select Range. We'll be using 550 to 608. Next, open up the frequency menu on your DXTX and stand by to pair. In your receiver's frequency menu, select Scan. This will measure the spectrum in the selected range and automatically find the cleanest channels for your devices to be on. If your current range is crowded or the noise is too persistent, you can always change the frequency range altogether. Once the scan is complete, you'll see the channels it has selected for you. Press Yes to accept and initiate the pair. Once you press Pair on your DXTX, it will automatically assign itself to the selected channel and give you a success message. From here, your devices are ready to be used, but there are a couple more things of note. If you notice that range or dropouts are becoming an issue later in the shoot day, you can always change to a spare frequency that the receiver has saved that was also clean. Remember, all of the frequency bands are available to you. If one band gives you trouble, try another band until you achieve the best results. If you're shooting in a location where specific frequencies must be avoided, you can always manually change the frequency on the receiver, and then the DXTX will follow it. If you don't want to switch between devices, you can do everything we've discussed here wirelessly through the Citus Audio app. Scan frequencies, pair devices, and even listen to the audio signal. With that, you're ready to get rolling. Happy shooting.